The post attaches the head of the tile saw to the base. It is a heavy duty casting that is bolted to the base and accepts the pivot rod and lock knob to attach and secure the motor and blade bracket. Common failures of the post include cracking where the lock knob is secured and other cracks caused by accidental damage, such as dropping the saw or it tipping over. Replacing the post is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm gonna show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the motor and blade assembly from the saw, starting with the lock knob. With the lock knob removed, now I can go ahead and remove the head assembly from the saw. Now I'll unplug the pump from the motor and remove the water line from the pump. And I can go ahead and set the head aside. Now I'll remove the pivot rod from the post. The post is secured to the base with two bolts, and I'll go ahead and remove those. There's two items I'll need to transfer from the old post over to the new one, starting with the head stop. And the second item is the set screw for the pivot rod. Now I can install the new post to the base. I'll line it with the base and reinstall the backing plate and the bolts.
Now I can reinstall the pivot post. I'll align the notch on the post with the set screw. And secure it with the set screw. Now I'll reinstall the motor and blade assembly back onto the saw. And I'll re-secure the lock knob. And I'll finish up by reconnecting the power wire for the pump and the water tube. And that's how you can replace the post on your tile saw. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.